Hey guys, welcome back once again to my channel. Today we're checking out the top 10, 10 most dangerous beaches in the world. Let's get started. The world's coastlines truly are a sight to behold. So much so that people go out of their way just to find the perfect swimming hole. However, some of these beaches aren't the paradise they seem to be. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the world's most dangerous beaches. Number 1 is a sleeper, so make sure you stay tuned. Number 10. The Skeleton Coast. The ominous name what? of Skeleton Coast has a reason. All along this terrifying beach in Namibia in southwestern Africa, you see What? Is that a boat? See the hulks of dead ships, ancient yeah. and modern. You can't help but reflect on the fate of the shipwrecked sailors. In many cases, what remains of their vessels now stand far back from the sea, partly covered in sand. Sometimes these relics are almost entirely buried. All you can see is a mass. Countless more, you think, have vanished altogether. What must have befallen their crews in the days before radio and airborne rescue requires little imagination. Sand, salt pan, and arid mountains stretch inland for a hundred miles. Away from the sea, there is little to no water. No sustenance, it seems to be of any kind. When you see an animal, which you do now and then, you're astonished that it can even eke out an existence from this nothingness. Honestly, not much good here, actually. See Number 9. Cape Tribulation. Despite the festive name, swimming in the waters of Cape Tribulation in Australia comes with inherent dangers. Located along the coast of Queensland, it touts alluring sandy stretches and palm-fringed aquamarine waters. But you've been warned, dozens of natural booby traps await. From October to early June, warm water brings thousands of crystal clear box jellyfish around Cape Tribulation. These particular jellyfish are so potent because of their venom attacks and cardiovascular system, and can cause members to drown before reaching land for help. Oh. Many tour guides will tell you that if you were touched by one, it would only take minutes to kill you. If the wow. jellyfish weren't dangerous enough, there are also crocodiles. They hide out in shallower deep waters near the ocean or in freshwater creeks, so you really have to be on the lookout for them at all times. Even though I'm pretty sure that they'll see you before you'll see them. They're super fast, very aggressive, and have been known to pull down a cow before. It is reported that these crocodiles kill one to two people per year. What? Number eight, Fraser Island. The beaches of Fraser Island pose risks whether you're underwater or on land. It's home to practically everything you want to avoid if you're trying to stay alive. In fact, rescue choppers are frequently flown into the sea to save visitors who find themselves plagued with medical emergencies. To make matters even worse, there is nowhere on the island to seek medical attention, which is in itself another danger. But really, only the beginning of the perils of Fraser. In recent years, the island has become inundated with irakanji, one of the most venomous types of jellyfish. People stung by these tiny sea creatures may experience symptoms including abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, pulmonary edema, and extreme cases fatal cardiac arrest. Over the past few years, several Irukandji attacks have been reported on the island. Oh, and also to cap this all off, the island is also home to 25 to 30 packs of dingoes, a type of dog native to Australia that has been known to attack humans. Number 7. Hanakapayao Beach. Hanakapayao Beach boasts golden sand, black cliffs, and endless blue sea. But beware of succumbing to the temptation of this quiet paradise. The alluring waters of this beach are home to incredibly strong riptides, which have pulled many uninformed swimmers to their deaths. The cause of the danger? A lack of coral reef protecting the area. Because of the perilous nature of this beach, there is no main access road, requiring thrill-seekers to navigate formidable boulders and switchbacks over streams and waterfalls. There is even a sign on the beach that claims more than 80 people have drowned there. Although I couldn't find any... Wait, what is it? The beach that claims boulders and switchbacks over streams and waterfalls. There is even beach a sign warning, the do not go near the water. Unseen currents have killed there. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, wait, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 5, 10, and 15. I'll get back to you guys on the number. It has killed, this, this beach has killed 82 people or more, if I've counted it wrong. 
so this beach is killed near so stay at beach do you enter waterfalls there is even a sign on the beach, beach warning that do not go near the water unseen currents have killed 82 people I'm there uh, 82 visitors that's crazy Although I couldn't find any official records, some websites mention that there have been approximately 30 verified cases in the last 50 years. So in terms of proportions, it is a big number. For your own safety, you should avoid taking a dip there. The beach is on the other side of the Hanakapiel Stream, a river that is much better suited for swimming than the ocean. Number 6. Playa Zipolite. The west coast of Mexico has an untamed beauty that is difficult to find anywhere else in the country. Nowhere is that more true than in the southern beach town of Zipolite, where travelers flock to explore rocky hillsides and rugged coast. In fact, Playa Zipolite has been often voted one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Also a draw on the fact that Zipolite is one of Mexico's only nude beaches. But don't get too comfy. You don't want to swim there. Playa Zipolite translates to Beach of the Dead. So many people have lost their lives on this shoreline that a special lifeguard team has been set up there. But the giant waves create extremely dangerous undercurrents, which pull swimmers out into the water. Fortunately, thanks to the vigilance of the lifeguard team, the number of drownings there have dropped significantly in recent years, but that still doesn't negate the danger entirely. Number 5. Stathius Beach and Chowpatty Beach. Now it's time for a different kind of danger. While most of the dangerous beaches on our list are also some of the most beautiful, the beaches on our list won't win any beauty pageants. That's why I decided to lump them together. Kinda like turds. In fact, one look at these filthy bodies of water is enough to deter any potential swimmers. States Beach is frequently on the EU swimming prohibited list. This beach is known for its garbage. And what kind of garbage is on this list? Well, farm sewage drains into the arbor, raising the water pollution levels to an unsafe level. Swimming in said waters can cause diarrhea, E. coli, meningitis, typhoid, and hepatitis A. Chow Patty, on the other hand, oddly enough, is popular among tourists even though it is dangerously polluted, with an ungodly combination of untreated sewage, garbage, and sunken coal seeped into its water and sand. This is one of the most toxic beaches not just in India, but in the entire world. Number 4. Dumas Beach while most of the beaches on this list could possibly end your life, this next beach on our list presents a danger that may possibly emanate from the afterlife. Also, it's the only haunted beach on this list. Heck, as far as I know, it's the only haunted beach in the world. Haunted? Located along the Arabian Sea, Dumas Beach is considered one of the most haunted places in Gujarat. The beach is renowned for two things. One for its black sand and the other for being haunted. It is said that Dumas Beach was once used as a Hindu burial ground and hence is possessed by several haunting spirits that never left the region. Folklore then explains that the existence of black sand is because of the amount of ash created by black burning camel. Folklore then explains that the existence of black sand is That's a camel. <laughs> because of the amount of ash created by burning the dead, which got mixed with the white sand of the beach and turned dark in shade. There's no denying that the beach has an eerie feel to it. The surroundings are beautiful but hauntingly depressing, and you cannot escape the negativity that surrounds the place. A number of paranormal activities have been reported in the area after the moon shows up. If reports are to be believed, several tourists and locals have gone missing from Sirat's haunted beach, Dumas. Also, a man was found dead on the beach with his tongue popping out. And there's absolutely no one who could explain the reason behind all these mishaps. Pretty creepy. People also claim that they heard weird sounds coming from the beach, like people laughing and someone crying, even when there's not a single soul present. And not only this, locals also say that they have witnessed white apparitions and moving orbs along with myriad other mysterious activities that can't be explained. Number 3. Gonsby Beach In South Africa, there are as many beaches that are dangerous because of the sharks. One must definitely mention this beach, however, which is located on the territory of the town of Gons Bay. This coastal stretch is also known as the Great White Shark Capital, which can be translated as the world capital of the Great White Hay. And that's true, because for many years the coast has remained as a habitat for the most dangerous marine mammals. Several inexperienced tourists were injured by the sharks. Many recreational seekers noticed the caution signs on the coast, as well as not at all. Many tourists find these dangers even exciting. Gansby is rich in the underwater attractions that can be discovered in the coastal waters, so this area is very popular with the divers. 
Although some of them are frightened by the possibility to swim under the water next to the white shark, the other divers keep this special feature as a stimulus for the long journey. It is certainly forbidden to dive without special protection, though. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be looking at a beach so beautiful even its clear blue waters wouldn't be enough to entice you to take a dip. And you're going to find out why I say that. Number 2. New Smyrna Beach Located on Florida's central Atlantic coast, New Smyrna Beach is a charming beach town rooted in local culture, art, and a beautiful white sandy shoreline. Known for its coastal architecture and personality, New Smyrna Beach is a prime location for surfers as well as visitors looking for a laid-back community filled with hidden adventures. New Smyrna Beach, however, holds a more ominous title, the shark capital of the world. Since records began back in 1882, New Smyrna Beach has been the location of over 240 separate shark attacks and the number is constantly rising. In 2008 alone, an incredible 24 shark bites and attacks were recorded at the beach. Swimmers and surfers constantly come back to the area though and there seems to be one very good reason for this. Although a huge number of attacks have occurred, so far none of them have actually been fatal. If you want to swim in safety though, New Smyrna Beach is definitely not for you. Although shark attacks have been less frequent of late, New Smyrna Beach still remains one of the scariest beaches in the world. However, if you're really jonesing for a shark fix, stick to the Jaws right at Universal Studios. Wait a second, that actually closed down several years ago. I uh, go watch the Meg, I suppose. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like. Thoughts in the hit are 11. The Seven Mile Miracle. Wait, what? Number one. The Seven Mile Miracle. The Seven Mile Miracle is precisely what it says. A seven mile or 11.2 kilometer stretch of sandy beach is delivering the most important surf spots in the history of surfing. According to the book Surfing Hawaii, there are 36 surf spots in the Seven Mile Miracle. For the fearful and the fearless, beach breaks, reef breaks, and point breaks, left and right handers, mushy and tubular waves, Hawaii's Seven Mile Miracle is truly surfer's paradise. Heaven on Earth with its particular characteristics and its classic hazards as well. It is also a place of worship for the locals. It's also one of the most dangerous surf breaks on Earth. The lifeguards who patrol the beaches make upward of 1,000 saves per year, sometimes as many as 30 in one day. While most of the incidents are cases of drowning or near drowning, there are some cases of concussions as well, caused by surfboards smashing into their riders' heads. Couple that with a few incidents of shark attacks and you really have the perfect recipe for danger, making the Seven Mile Miracle live up to its reputation as the most dangerous beach in the world. Which dangerous beach made you-